yes uh, welcome back to um, and uh, to talkard the place where we spoke much about the history of the talkard there and now we are here the temple where the hoysalas dominated the cholas say so rather i should say this way the hoysalas emerged victorious in south indian politics that will be much better phrase to put across why because the karnataka and tamil nadu were f- a states bu- uh, side by states having a business right from the 3rd and 4th century itself even in sangam literature even in sangam literature mahisu mysuru or the region karnataka is called as erumai nadu erumai nadu and it is called uh, uh, in many places and what it is called and in ma- major sense of it if if it says the land above us it is it says in english if at all we take the meaning of it it is uh, the land above us it speaks and we had a relations with the, even the people and there was one question the hoysalas were emerged in pudukottai region and there are records how do you say about it yes throughout south india and especially even in northern india the tiger are a common predator into the cultivating land not even today right from the harappan period and fighting with the the animal or the beast tiger is not a common factor is not a rare factor in a in the indian story so the inscriptions found in chikmangalore district very recently in the last 20 years uh, it is proved that the prior to the hoysala vishnuvardhana the ballala the first the ballala the first father was vinaya ditya then uh, we have uh rupakama and then we have sala so now the inscriptions which were found in around angadi and chikmangaluru in chikmangaluru districts very clearly proves that and says that they were living in hosaiwuru sosaiwuru sosaiwuru means uh, the place wherein the place wherein the uh, daughter in law of that place was living sosai means daughter in law sosai uru means the place of the daughter in law's place so that way the place sosai uru was uh, in the uh, uh, it is there in mudigere uh, taluk of chikmangalore district and there there is a temple called vasantika devi jaina temple which was a learning center and uh, there may be a question arising in this regard also How, what is the relation between the jaina uh, literature and as well as uh, the Uh, the traditional hindu literature see tripurusha devalayas of uh, 12th century and 13th century ad 12th century ad they are the combination of jainism shaivism and vaishnavism a person one who should be able to deliver or one who should be able to teach the Uh, philosophy of that period should be educated minimum education both in shaivagamas vaishnavagamas and jainagamas then only he can teach in that so that the chaturvedi mangalas and the ghatikasthanas which were established in karnataka and even in tamil nadu they are learning all these three aspects so that is called tripurusha devalaya and there was no hard and fast rule in a particular family a jaina should marry a jaina a vaishnava should marry a vaishnava a shaiva should marry a vaishnava so how it is i will give you an example of the uh, father and mother of shantala devi the wife of hoysala vishnuvardhana hoysala vishnuvardhana married shantala devi shantala devi's father was a staunch shaivite follower mother was a jain follower and she once again being following the jainism she patronized the shaivism and vaishnavism both for which there are n number of inscriptional records when you look into the 
total inscriptions and total donations of the Hoysala temples. Shaivites has taken the major share, then comes the Vaishnavites, then comes the Jains. This is, I am not saying it out of my presumption. S. Shetter in his Hoysala book, Magnanim Opus of S. Shetters on Hoysala, wherein he gives the number of temples built by the Hoysalas and the dedication of the temple, temples and based on the inscriptions and all the statistics have been arrived and he proves this. As far as the Sosai Uru and Sala is concerned, till very recently, 20 years back, we are thinking that the Sala was only a legendary king. He was not an historical king. But the recent inscriptions that were unearthed in uh, Mudigare Talok and it was very clearly deciphered by one of my friend, Dr. H.M. Nagarajara, who was the editor of Epigraphia Karnataka uh, New Editions, which were brought out by University of Mysore. He compiled more than 20 inscriptions from Mudigare Talok, which of speaks about the uh, early Hoysala uh, legacy, wherein Sala, Nrupakama and the later kings up to Hoysala Vishnuvardhana, he has given the linkage how they were, uh, the dynasty was established and continued. Thus, beyond doubt and unquestionably, these new inscriptions found in Angadi, uh, are surrounding Angadi and in Mudigare Talok, Hasan and uh, Chikmangalur districts very clearly proves that Hoysalas were, uh, the initiation of them was started in Sosai Uru or the Angadi of Mudigare Talok today. So then on it continued and this building where we are, this is the Hoysala architecture. 